So we're going to talk about the average rate of change on two given points. Now, the average rate of change is independent of Y concentration. And that is important because now, instead of viewing this as X1, Y1, this will be X1, X2, right? X1, X2, all right? So the formula, very important to remember, the formula says that, well, the function of X2 minus the function of X1 divided by pure X2 minus X1. Alright. So now all we need to do is just plug in the values. The function will be, well, X2, as this says right here, is going to be, well, 3 cubed plus 1. All right, minus, since it's a minus, I always put a big bracket around there because everything is going to be subtracted. Uh, minus the function with x1 plugged in. So this will be 2 cubed plus 1, all right, divided by pure 3 minus 1. Now, if you do the arithmetic, uh, 3 cubed plus 1 is 28 minus. Well, 2 cubed is 8 plus 1 is 9, divided by 1, right? And so the average rate of change will actually be 19, all right? So that's how we find the average rate of change. Let's do another example. All right, so this is a quadratic function, as you can see. Um, right and the principle stays the same right so well f of x2 minus f of x1 function over pure x2 minus x1 right I always label this x1 x2 so i don't get confused All right so plugging in the values we get okay well 3 squared minus 2 times 3, all right, minus this whole thing again, 1 squared minus 2 times 1 divided by 3 minus 1, all right, so doing the arithmetic, uh, 3 squared is 6, minus 2 times 3 is 6, all right, so that's going to give us 0, minus, well, 1 squared is just 1, minus 2 times 1, which is just 2, over 3 times 1, which is just 2. Alright. So this is 0. Alright. And so this leaves us with negative 1 plus 2 over 2. Alright. And so our average rate of change will now be negative 1 plus 2. That's just 1 over 2, which is just 1 half. Let's do one more example. The average rate of change of a trigonometric function, and this is where knowing your unit circle is important. So again, we're going to just do the formula. x2 minus the function of x1 over x2 minus x1. Yes. All right. So plugging in the values, well, cotangent of, well, sorry about that, this is x1, x2, cotangent of 3 pi over 4 minus cotangent of pi over 4 divided by 3 pi over 4 minus pi over 4. And then all I'm doing is just plugging in my values. Well, knowing in unit circle, cotangent of 3 pi over 4 is actually negative 1, negative 1, Minus cotangent of pi over 4, which is just 1, divided by 3 pi over 4 stays on the bottom. So this is going to be uh, 2 pi over 4, which we could then simplify to negative 2 over, uh, that's 1, that's 2 pi over 2, all right? That's going to be your average rate of change. Now we can simplify this a little bit. So I'm going to rewrite my 2. Right, that's 2 over 1. 
as negative two over one, sorry about that, right? And so what's the rule for dividing? Well, we're gonna multiply and flip, right? So this now becomes four over pi. No, two pi over, I'm sorry about that. This is actually two uh, pi over two, I'm sorry. That should simplify to pi over two. So this is actually two. Uh, so the average rate of change will now be negative four over pi.